Are hairline cracks in concrete normal? If you've noticed tiny cracks in your newly poured concrete, you might be wondering if this is something to worry about. Let's break it down to understand what's going on. First, it's important to know that concrete goes through several stages after it's poured, and one of these stages is particularly critical. When concrete is fresh and still wet, it's called plastic. During this stage, it's very sensitive to its environment. One of the main reasons for hairline cracks is something called plastic shrinkage. This happens because the concrete loses moisture quickly, especially from the surface. As the water evaporates, the concrete shrinks, and this shrinkage can cause small cracks to appear. These cracks are usually very small, less than 0.3 millimeters wide, and are quite common. Another factor that can contribute to these cracks is the amount of water in the concrete mix. Adding more water makes the concrete easier to work with, but once that water dries out, it can lead to more shrinkage and cracking. Now here's the good news. Most hairline cracks are not a structural problem. They don't affect the strength or longevity of the concrete. However, it's still important to keep an eye on them. If these cracks start to grow or become wider than one eighth of an inch, it could indicate a more serious issue. There are different types of cracks and understanding them can help you determine if you need to worry. For example, settlement cracks are wider at the top and narrower at the bottom, often due to issues with the ground beneath the slab. Overloading cracks are wide and deep, usually caused by too much pressure on the concrete. To prevent or minimize these hairline cracks, it's crucial to cure the concrete properly. This means keeping the concrete moist after it's poured to reduce rapid drying. You can also use surface vibrators to close out any cracks that appear while the concrete is still plastic. In summary, hairline cracks in concrete are generally normal and not a cause for immediate concern. However, it's always a good idea to monitor them and ensure they don't grow or indicate a larger problem. By understanding the causes and taking the right precautions, you can help maintain the integrity and appearance of your concrete.